All right, I'm going to attempt in this video to demonstrate how to do an interaction analysis in PLS graph. Now, an interaction is another form of moderation in which a variable, like feedback, changes the shape or the value of the effect between an independent variable and a dependent variable. So in this situation we have here, um, we're saying that feedback positively moderates the positive relationship between participation and satisfaction such that for high levels of feedback or as feedback increases the slope or the effect between participation and feedback increases um, between participation and satisfaction excuse me so that's what we're going to test in PLS let's see so here's the basic idea you throw in the independent variable and the dependent variable and this is after you've done your factor analysis and you've cleaned it up you also include the moderating variable in that factor analysis clean that up and then what we need to do is add in a third term and this will be a, an interaction term or a product term that is composed of the products of all of the combinations of the indicators for the independent variable and the moderating variable. So for example, we're going to multiply PP2 whoops, times F3 and PP2 times F1 and PP2 times F2. And then we're going to do the same for PP4. And then we're going to create a variable here, uh, a construct here, that has all of those new product terms as its indicators. So I'll show you how to do that. Before we do that, we need to standardize some variables. So, you would go to your data in SPSS, go to Analyze, Descriptive, Descriptives. You're going to get those variables that you're interested in, um, those from the moderator, feedback, and those from the independent variable, participation. And you're going to save standardized values. I've already done this, so I'm not going to hit OK, but you would hit OK. Then, you'll see that they pop up right here. ZF1, ZF2, these are standardized values. You need to standardize first. Uh, there are lots of good reasons for that, just trust me on this one. The next thing you need to do is you need to calculate the new, or, or compute the new variables, the interaction terms. So what you do is you name them, I just named mine uh, the item times the item, so F3 times PP4, F2 times PP1, um, and then you pull those values in. You can just scroll down here. Let me get rid of this and demonstrate for you. So this is F3 times PP4. Down at the bottom here, you want to get ZF3. Make sure you're using the standardized values. ZF3 times PP4, the Z PP4. And then you hit OK, and it creates it for you. I've already done this. It's kind of a long process, so I didn't want to include it in the video. Um, but here they are. Here are all my product terms and now I'm going to use these in uh, the PLS graph. Once again, to convert this SPSS file to a PLS friendly .raw format, go to File, Save As, Save As a .dat, and then over in your folder, wherever it is saved, you want to convert that .dat to a .raw just by changing the file extension. This used to be a .dat. I changed it to a .raw and then you can use it in PLS. You want to go and relink this. Go back in links, relink it. Hit OK. And then you create the new construct. So the construct is um, part times feed, let's say, participation times feedback, and give it some indicators. They'll be at the very bottom. Here it is there should be six oops because we had two variables two indicators from one and three from the other so two times three is six here they are we're not going to trim these at all we're just gonna hide them we can hide these two if we want clean it up a bit and we're going to regress here and that's it you run it hit OK you see that you have uh, a value here. We're going to go evaluate that, see if that's significant. In order to do that, just like before, you do a bootstrap. 
hit OK. Go look at the dot out. There it is, dot out. And go look at that t value, the t statistic for the interaction term on the dependent variable. 2.4536. I'm going to copy this and go over to Excel to evaluate it. Let's see, come here, Excel. So in Excel, you go equals t, and it's the t distribution, two tailed. Paste that in there as the x, and for degrees of freedom, our uh, sample size was 283, so uh, subtract 2 from that, 281 is a good degrees of freedom. Hit enter. Here is your two tailed p, p value, 0 0.014. 4. 0 0.015. So we are significant at the uh, 0 0.05 level, at 95% confidence. So what this means is that, where did it go? This one. What, it, what this means is that this is correct. Um, feedback truly does have a positive moderating effect on the positive relationship between participation and satisfaction. Done.